What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're back for Attack in the Power of Juju, and we gotta go get Moonstone. Champion, it looks good on you. I'll let you in on a little secret. This amulet is most of the reason Locks is so special. It has magical powers. As long as you're at full health, it'll cause you to run faster and jump higher and farther. So you always Yo, have to be at full health. Actually, now. though, this I'm actually super down with the speed boost, though. That actually yeah, makes just me don't super touch, happy. don't let the nervels touch you even once. Yeah, no kidding. I can heal though. I have a spell for healing. That's not bad. So this is actually pretty tight. Watch, you found out if you get all 200, that's why I got it. And they're like, it's a good thing you didn't cheat. Shit. Do they put me all the way back at what's his name's house? Also, look how they revived me with just not full health. Yeah, because you took damage. Oh, oh, and in my head it was uh, not because I took damage, but because they revived me. No, at, they didn't yeah. kill you. They just took away some of your health. Okay, so we have to go Same thing to happens in get Zelda. the moonstones. Now, this game does a terrible job of explaining to you what you need to do. Awful. Awful, 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 awful. He just gave you the amulet of the hero, and he was like... Okay, go get the moonstones, though. It's possible he told you Wait. where to get the moonstones earlier in the game. You just haven't played for a while. Maybe he did. But even then, dude, like, give me a compass or a marker or something. Maybe the juju compass actually does help me. Maybe we should try it. How do I change spells again? Let's see what this does. Uh-huh. You're wasting all your feathers to have this, like, beep at you. I think it's pointing me in the objective, like where the objective is. How do you do this again? Because he hits, he knocks me out, he kills me if I try to walk past him. Whatever. Don't have time for that. Gotta use my nitrous. Oh, did you see those jukes though? Those juju jukes? Oh no, it's pointing me in a completely wrong direction because this is where I need to go. I, maybe I maybe I screwed up, and maybe it does actually lead me to Nurbles or something. I just didn't know. But anyway, so this is where we gotta go, because uh, we have this. But now we have the locket of the hero, the locket of the Iron Solari, for all you League of Legends super nerds out there. Yeah. League of Legends and Attack of the Fire Juju are. They go hand they, in hand. They actually yeah. have. Uh, they're actually in the same universe. Yeah, it's <laughs> actually crazy. Garen is just like next door, just kicking it with Lux. And Jabulba. That's that's what the normal afternoon looks like in Demacia. I remember this place. The Moon Juju brought me here once. I'm pretty sure the Moonstone we're looking for is at the top of the temple. All we need to do is find a way up there. I'm just gonna speed run it. I don't give a shit. Hey, 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 whoa, <laughs> easy. <laughs> that guy was like, no, 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 no. There's a chicken egg here. Why do they worship chickens? Do we know uh, that? I don't remember. Do they tell us? They are, I'm making a lot of assumptions here. I'm playing this kind of like how we used to play Resident Evil when we were streaming RE. You know how you just expect the game to explain everything to you? Yeah. Yeah, this is not it's this is not one of those games. I, the game is not going to explain to me why the chickens exist or do this thing or... It looks I like you need to find a key. Hmm. I wonder what that would look like in this place. I see that is. I think the reason why this game does is because it's supposed to be like a kids game where they like everything is just weird and wacky and funny for kids. Like yeah, yeah, it's like a. Cartoon. Why do they worship chickens? Who cares? They worship chickens. That's funny. Yeah, I, I like. I do think you're right about that. I think I'm. I'm probably giving this a bit too much thought. Like Resident uh, Evil will explain to you things because like it's supposed to be played by adults, so adults yeah. want to know like the all lore, the secrets like, and, the and lore. like lore, like you know like why is but like how does the virus too. like the kids don't care how the virus functions, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, hypothetically speaking, yeah. right? Like they're not gonna care because that's not important to them, really. This is about like they just made a fart joke. Yeah. Not nah, more than a fart joke. A diar a diarrhea joke, actually. I really do like this power-up, though, that lets me run really fast. I'm actually really digging it. Oh, this is not the key spot, hey? Yeah, I really like this, uh, the speed-up. It's, it's just handy. Hello, chicken. Oh, I got a golden egg. Oh, you know what? I bet I have to take this golden egg back to the stand. Because I think there was, like, a few altars. You broke Really? It. 
Oh, I love this. I, I'm gonna love that this. That reminds me of that 70s show when, uh, when Kelso and Hyde are throwing the egg back and forth that Jackie gave him. Oh, yeah, And yeah, then yeah. he's like, oh, shit, yeah. Uh, okay, Hyde, throw me the egg back. He's like, okay. <laughs> he whips the egg. <laughs> he, like, throws it back into the wall. <laughs> Is it supposed to be their baby or something? Yeah, that's why he makes a fake one. And then uh, when he gives it back to her, she's like, where's the pencil mark I made on? He's like, it must have washed off when I was giving him his gentle bath. Like, his gentle oh. bath! <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, why would you even be washing the egg? I just, I just love the, uh, the idea that, you know what? It's too smart for that character. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really dumb, oh, though, because idea. it's like, what was, gonna what was Jackie's plan? Let's give him an egg and see how he treats it, and that's how he'll treat no, our no, no, baby. No, 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 I think it's a school project. So there was this old school project we don't do anymore, and it was supposed to teach kids the joy of parenting or responsibility of having a child, right? And the idea is uh, you give a kid an egg or something. It's supposed to be something fragile. I've heard it be an egg. I've heard it be glass. I don't know why you give a kid glass. Well, that's a know. bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. But anyway, so like you give this kid like crap. You give this kid like an egg or something, and then essentially what happens is the kid is supposed to care for the egg like it's a baby, and uh, if they break the egg, they get an F. But you get an A if you can keep the egg safe for a week, and you're given a partner. And you're supposed to keep, like, take care of the egg as a team, right? Like, you're supposed to be co-parenting the egg. That's the just gist Just leave of it in your fridge overnight all week, and then when your friend gets it, just does the same thing. I've heard that there was more advanced versions of this experiment. This, it's not, I'll call it what it is. It's an experiment, right? There was more advanced versions you of this. You should probably start collecting those red feathers if you see them. You're using a lot. I am using a lot of feathers, you're right. But, uh... Yeah, like, the gist of this thing was... Oh, oh! 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 Go away! You're cheating with your fast speed. This would be a lot harder if you couldn't run. I think you're damn right it would be. Good thing this uh, hay isn't catching on fire. So, anyway, yeah, I think the, the idea is that it's supposed to be teaching you and, like, uh, or, sorry, there was more advanced versions of this, where, like, they would, uh, take people and they would make them, um, they'd give you, like, a fake baby and the baby would cry and you had to figure out what was wrong with the baby, and if you ignored the baby long enough, it would, like, register a fail. I would fail that. Uh, that's because I don't want kids. <laughs> I feel like it's... It's not something that would typically happen in modern day. I don't think they would... It didn't happen in the old day for... I guess I guess it was back in the day for us now at this point, too. Yeah, well, we're old, so... Like, I don't think... I think the 90s for kids in, like... You know, high school nowadays is like an eternity ago. Keep in mind, when we were in high school, when we were in, when we were in elementary school, yeah. like, that was a long time ago, so for kids today in, like, high school, it'd be the same as us picturing, like, like kids in, like, the 70s, where for us, that would be like, oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, well, right? he must have been really hungry, yeah. <laughs> that toad you hit me with, it just, it always catches me. Oh, he must be really hungry. Realistically, I don't have to start uh, collect more feathers. I need to stop using them to top up my health two percent. Yeah. To get my speed boost. Run, chicken. Sorry. It's actually a really good idea. There we go. Our Genius. Chicken, our chicken's heavy enough for that? No, probably not. Okay. I gotta go. Yo, I don't this, think she can yo, freak out like this. this, is, this is, yo, this thing is faster than me. <laughs> yo, you know what that is? What's that? This is the uh, this is like a less creepy version of the final uh, dungeon in Twilight Princess. I don't remember the final dungeon in Twilight Princess. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say anything then. Let, let's just say you have to grab something and then stuff chases you, but they're not chickens. <laughs> they're not chickens. <laughs> Although if it was the Zelda chickens chasing you, that might be a little bit creepy. Yeah, I gotta say the Zelda chickens are pretty intense though. Although they're not chickens, they're cuckoos? Cuckoos? I don't know how I to pronounce it. Cuckoos, that's how I always pronounced it. Um, super funny that they added that item to Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah. Just like you throw a pissed off chicken at someone and they get mobbed by chickens. That's actually brilliant. Okay, I can't fall or I'll lose the It's egg. a good item considering every other item in the game is just instant death. Instant kill. 
and they spawn way too frequently even on I hate low. that yeah I hate that you can set it to very low and very low in new Super Smash Bros is like every 10 to 15 Dude, seconds. Dude, I set melee to low and we got like two items a match and it was like a fan and like a sword. So like just hit the enemy with this weapon yeah, and it yeah. does a little bit of damage. There and sometimes it was like after not like, bad. Brawl had Sorry. okay weapons too, but they got a little bit crazier in Brawl. But then when we got to Smash 4, not only did the stages, but the stages and the items just went like off the charts. They're too much. And they're just too much. I guess like, it's like everyone's like, why do you play on Omega? And I'm like, because the items are enough to deal with without the stage trying to murder me too. Absolutely. And unfortunately, when you play with particular people who aren't going to watch this video, um, they are so item heavy that they will wait and wait and wait because it's easier to get a kill with an item than it is to actually play the game, right? That was not how I was supposed to do that. I'll be very clear. That was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I just got right. away with it. Yeah, that works. Where's the egg? Oh, no, it does not. Did you get, did you forget it? Nope. I just, it's over here. Okay. Thank goodness I'm actually doing platforming now. I feel like there's stuff to talk about at least right this second. But yeah, like even Brawl, like the the, the, the items didn't get too crazy in Brawl. They are a little crazier, but the stages got a lot crazier in Brawl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause in like, like look at the stages in like, like even Smash 64, they were like, here's a tornado that sometimes appears and slowly goes around one area of the level. Yeah. Or like, the oh, lava will rise. it's exploding good. The lava will rise sometimes. Yeah. And then like, same with melee, right? Yeah. And then in Smash, and then like Brawl, they're like, everything will kill you if it touches you. And then Smash 4 is like, even further, where they're like, now there are bosses who appear every like, kill the yellow devil? Cool, yeah. he's back in four seconds. He's back, that's the other thing too, like maybe once a level or something, right? But like, every two minutes, like come on, man. Like that's why, like yeah, like if if I wanted, if you're wondering why I play boring stages in Smash now, it's because not I don't only think you play boring stages in Smash. I just think the stages are kind of hectic. Like I said, like the stages are too much, especially in combination with the items, and even on very low. Like you said, it'll be like item, 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 and these items aren't like little like things you can use to give you a boost. They're like yeah. murder your like the entire field at once. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah. now I have to deal with the stage trying to kill me every four seconds, and now I have to deal with Nate throwing seventeen Pokeballs at me and, yeah. a, and an assist trophy, I, I and argue, then the Smash Ball appeared, and now I'm like, this dude, is too I much. I argue that like Nate probably gets. I gotta kill this one chicken because I know he's gonna be in the way. I would wager that Nate probably gets a Smash Ball. What do you think? Once, and not a Smash Ball, an assist trophy. He probably gets an assist trophy once, at least once, a, uh, a round. I'm not even, er, like, I'd say two to three assist trophies drop a game now. That's way too many items. Yeah, and then you'll get something like that, uh, like Rathalos or, or like something Tiki, gross. and they'll stay for, like, a good 30 seconds, and they kill you. Yeah. Because like, there's nothing you can do about it. Just this devastating insta-kill creature. And they're like, yeah, but these items are supposed to be rare. That's why they're well sought off. And I'm like, they're not they're not rare enough. In Smash 64, if a you Pokeball, see a Pokeball it's it was a huge... big deal. That was probably the strongest item other than the, the hammer. This. Uh, the hammer and the Pokeball were probably the strongest items. And you only saw them like once a game. So yeah. you went for them, right? By the way, I nailed this. This yeah. last one. Yeah, you did good. Uh, yeah, so you only went for them. You, like, they only appeared like once a game. So you went for them. But in modern games, it's like hard. there's like... 500 more items because the items spawn so frequently they're like three or four pokeballs is common as well as one or two assist trophies and like three smash balls oh and let's not get started on dragoon and the gun both of which would spawn like immediately at the start of a match yeah we don't always get them because we fight over them but like we fight over them because it's not so much that we want them it's, it's so we, we don't want, ever, we don't want anyone to else to get it. them yeah okay so I, I have the egg and you can't put it down i don't think i need it for this purpose so you need it for something else? Well, that's definitely... I don't know, I just <laughs> guessed. I don't, I don't really know. Like, what am I supposed to be doing here? You can't put them down on the th things? No, I couldn't put them down on any of the things. Did you already do that or not? I already put them all down. What did it open? Nothing. No, oh, uh, when I put it down, it lifted us up and it put us here. <laughs> 
But like I said, this is kind of this is kind of a micro complaint of this game at the moment. I just it's always a case of like what? You know? What do I what do I what do I want what do you want me to do right now? So they told me to get the chickens. So I rose I used the chicken eggs and I rose the platform. That's cool. But like now what do I do? It has to be somewhere in here, right? I guess I could Oh, that area, is that new? Maybe I take this and all right. Oh, you know what? I think I understand. So this isn't a gold egg. This is a this is a a bomb egg, all right? So if I throw this here, I can have access to the actual gold egg. That's my theory. Oh, all right. So now I need a chicken to beat into submission. <laughs> so what's a game, what's something where, I'll ask a question here, get the conversation going. What's something that you think Power Creep ruined the game for? For us, I think it's a really easy answer. It's Yu-Gi-Oh cards. When Jesse and I were in high school, these lovely gentlemen were sweet enough to make me a, a deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Which meant the world to me at the time, because I didn't really have a lot of friends when I moved to Calgary. And uh, you guys made me a deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now, it was like this personal thing for me and it meant a whole lot, right? But okay, so you get this deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. and. At the time we were playing, we weren't playing early, but we were playing early-er. We are definitely, you and I were not playing in the modern version of the game, right? No. You and I were probably playing how, like, let's just say Gen 3 of Yu-Gi-Oh! kind of thing. The issue was, when we played this, this Yu-Gi-Oh! game, it was simple and it was slow-paced, and sometimes you would win and sometimes you would lose, until Bob started introducing new cards. And that's where we started ending up with problems. <laughs> because Power Creep in Yu-Gi-Oh! started with, you have Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Everybody knows about Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Blue-Eyes White Dragon is a big monster. He has no effect. He has lots of attack. He's Blue-Eyes White Dragon. He's iconic, you know? He's this iconic, strong, normal monster. But then you introduce other effect monsters. And these other effect monsters have effects. Right? These other effect monsters, they so you have a, a card that's as strong as Blue Eyes White Dragon. But wait, he also can't be destroyed by traps. Yeah. So he's better than Blue Eyes White Dragon. Correct! And you're like, wow, Blue Eyes White Dragon is really good. And they're like, well, he used to be. But now I would never run a blue, whoops. Now I'd never run Blue Eyes White Dragon. You never catch me dead running Blue no, Eyes. No, it's because, a waste of a card slot. Yeah, why would you put Blue Eyes Unless on Unless you have team? a specific card uh, yeah. that powers them up. Unless you have like a deck or a card that's like, hey man, you have Maiden of Blue Eyes White Dragon that like, you know, makes him immortal. You know, something, right? Like, unless you have, yeah, dude, there's a straight up, there's a Yorbel up there. <laughs> but I needed the Yorbels to get, get here. It. Go grab the Yorbel, see if it crashes the game. <laughs> How do you think I do this? No, all right, well, that's not what I wanted. But you only needed 100 Yorbles to get here, though. They probably, that's probably just extra. So I have this. Okay, focus, there's gotta be something. Try hitting the chicken a second time in the air. Oh, so I was doing it the right way. You can hit him a second time in the air? Or I could just cheat. <laughs> you can't get out of here now. No, there's a, there's a door thing here. See? I could solve your puzzle, or Screw you. <laughs> Come get me, chickens. What do I do with this? 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 Yo, what do I do with this bomb? Oh, I, I gotta get it up there. Yeet. Don't know what that did. We're gonna go check it out. So, anyway. We play blue, like, we play Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, shit. What is that for? It's a clock. It's ticking. It's an hourglass. I have to hurry. So anyway, yeah, eventually cards become useless because why would I run blue eyes if I could run, Dude, you know? Dude, do you remember that card, Leo Gun? Le it's what? a five star card. What is it? Five stars, so it cards a sack. It's, okay. like, it's like 16 attack and 12 defense, no effect. Okay. <laughs> so it's literally worthless. But you just, you just hit the nail on the head, right? Power creep ruined that game. League of Legends is a lot like that now. I talk about a league a lot on this channel, unfortunately. For a guy, for a person who's never played League on this channel, I've talked about League a lot. Um, 
League of Legends power creep is so out of hand with new characters. Old characters are like, this guy can stun you. Cool. Uh, what does my guy do now? Does his uh, his ult does big damage. Yeah. Now characters are like, you cannot be targeted by attacks. You can't, you dodge all skills. True damage, so armor doesn't stop your damage. Uh, attack steroid. Uh, if you kill someone, they come back to life. Um, yeah, uh, your auto attacks, if you do more than four at a time, uh, they, they explode and instantly die. Like, that's, that is what League of Legends has become. It's very tiresome. I don't know how long we've been doing this, but I'm gonna finish this portion and I'll move on. He tried to, like... That guy looked like he swung that like a golf, a golf club. club, right? Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, he actually had a piece of... Yeah. Ah! <laughs> 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 I love how he hits you and he's like, oh wait, pardon me, I didn't knock you into the pit. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were still alive. I do like that he had a piece of dialogue for me. Get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Tech is so tired, he's like, I'm exhausted. These chicken heads. Can you hit them in the ass? Ah, <laughs> nope. <laughs> I can, but should I is the better question. <laughs> uh, unsure if this is the way to go. Nope, this is not the way to go. I'm supposed to go over here. This was also not the way to go. <laughs> hey, get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. You're right, I am running out of feathers. Dude, you went from like 1200 from the start of this to 700. It's because I keep getting I need the speed boost. You really? Yes. You played the game without it. No, I didn't. That wasn't really get living. It, get, it, get it. Get it. Oh, tens? Sick. You have 201 Yorbles. Yes! You've collected all the Yorbles. Someone's gonna watch you fight the final boss and be like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, he's cheating. <laughs> okay, I gotta jump back. I blew it, I blew it, I blew it, I blew it. I didn't blow it. Watch out for the guy's gonna knock you into the pit. Get out of here. I don't have a bomb yet, so I can't break any of this stuff down. It might be worth uh, actually breaking these barriers. Oh, maybe not. I mean, for convenience sake, I could, but I think if I just nail it, then I don't have to do it with this. Uh, and what's the catch here? Oh, sick, another Yorble. I could use that. So we have to do three of these challenges. Uh, I need a bomb egg. Oh, there's the chicken spot. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna get a chicken up there? You gotta hit him all the way over there? Dude, really? They said they hit him twice. Hit him once again in the air. I guess they fly further that way? They do. That's what she said. Can I just please be like, pick up the chicken? Yeah, like, in Zelda, you can just pick it up. Like, can I just like, pick up the easier. chicken? Like, I don't wanna do this. Oh, no, no, Trevor, you're wrong. You got him in the corner. Like, I don't want to do this. And I don't want to see this either. Still doing this chicken stuff? Yeah. Why? chickens in here was such a dick move.
<laughs> no! no! <laughs> Get away! I have the egg! I have the egg! Oh, it dude, didn't break. sick. It didn't break. That's sick. <laughs> Gabe took pity on you. <sighs> Are you done? Or is there gonna be one more? <sighs> Copium. Copium. <laughs> oh. Well? Oh. <laughs> Go find out if you got a whole other set of this shit. Oh my gosh. I just need a minute. Oh my gosh. I think I just had a brain aneurysm. <laughs> oh my gosh. When that guard hit you. How long you? have we been recording? I just want to know. How long? We've only done three episodes. How, how long has it been? An hour 45 minutes. Oh my gosh. Yep. Wow. Okay. Trevor, I wasn't recording the whole time. I wouldn't care.